Hello. Thank you for your interest in Blacksmith 3D's Texture Transformer. In this video, we are going to show the basics of how to take a skin texture for Dawn and transform it into a skin texture for Victoria 4 using the Texture Transformer. To get started, I will first open Poser, but you may also use Dow Studio. Then, I'm going to load the Dawn figure and then apply the texture maps that I wish to convert. So here I have the Dawn figure loaded with the porcelain Dawn cracked doll skin applied. And then I also want to make sure I convert one of the unique extras and I decide I want to use the hearts and the red looking eyes. Now I need to save the CR2 with the textures I want to convert applied in a folder that's easy to find. Here I have set up a testing folder for Dawn to V4 and I'm going to click the add button and name it Porcelain Dawn V4 so that I can find it later. Now that I have saved a CR2 of Dawn with the textures I wish to convert in my testing folder, I'm now going to open up my texture transformer. Here I'm doing it inside a Blacksmith 3D, but you can also do it in the standalone texture transformer the same way. So now that it's open, I hit my next button and I select the transformation that I'm wanting to make, which here I'm converting Dawn to V4. It's very important that this information be correct or else it will not work properly. Then I hit my next button and I locate the Dawn item that I had saved a while ago as a CR2 and I click my open and then the next. Here this is an option if you want to open the finished converted CR2 inside a Blacksmith 3D, but today I'm not going to worry about doing that since we're just showing the texture conversions. So I'm going to hit next. Then I need to locate the folder that this is going to be saved in. For this purposes, I'm going to keep it in my testing folder for Dawn to V4 and select folder so that it shows the path and then next. And here is the final page where I'm going to say this is my transformed porcelain dawn to V4. And then I'm going to press transform. Now this transformation does usually take sometimes up to a minute long. It really depends on the textures that you're working with because the larger they are, the longer it can take to actually make the transformation. Once the transformation has been completed, I can just close that box and I'm finished. But if I wanted to make another transformation, I could do it from here. Since I chose not to open the conversion in Blacksmith after it was finished, I'm going to go ahead here and just close the Blacksmith window. Then I'm back to my poser, or you could also do this inside a DAS Studio if you prefer. So now that I'm back in Poser, I'm going to remove the Dawn figure I had previously been working with and load the base V4 figure. Then I can go to the Save Transformed Porcelain Doll to V4 that I had created and load that. Now we can see our transformed cracked porcelain doll skin for Dawn on our V4 figure. We hope you have found this video useful and stop by our Blacksmith 3D forum on Renderosity for any questions you may have or to give us suggestions on additional videos you would like to see for Blacksmith 3D or Texture Transformer. Thanks for watching.